Hello, my name is Maria Romano. I'm 60 years young and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. And now I'd like to introduce you to two other members of my family. We have Elle, she's a female fawn, Great Dane, three and a half years old. And we have Bo, he's a brindle Great Dane and he's also three and a half years old. He's my protector. Now, one thing I want to tell you when you're at Gaza Romano, you're here to have an experience. So whatever was troubling you, just leave your baggage at the front door for the next 10 minutes. You're gonna have a great time with me. Hey everyone, we are Maria Romano's neighbors, our dear friend, and we know she would be awesome as the next master chef. She's crazy and she's unique. And she's Maria. She's so cool and classy and she's so inspiring too. Whether you're 25 or 55, she's just all around amazing. Yeah, she could have 50 people at her house and you would feel so special. If Maria Romano's having a dinner, we will not miss it. And we won't miss the show. You, you got, got this, this Maria. Maria. So now I'd like you to meet my dear friend, Judy Ann Price. I love this lady. Oh, we met over food. You offered me to come over. You already had like 30 people here. And you inspired me so much. We have these cooking competitions. competitions. <laughs> But she's a better cook than I am, that's why. But, and what do we do when you make something great? <gasps> Yay! We love food. But I want you now to look at the rest of my kitchen. We're going to start with my refrigerator because this is the lifeblood of my home. This is why we're here. <laughs> so let's start with what's inside my fridge. Now, I shop every day just about. I don't have a whole bunch of items in there. It's just me and the dogs unless I'm having a dinner party. So come on, take a look. You know, I have fresh eggs. I keep creme de fraiche because creme de fraiche is fabulous when you're making a roast and you want to make a little sauce on the side. It just kind of smooths everything out. Some fresh beef, some peppers, some arugula. Have some cheeses. Cheese is wonderful. The last name's Romano. And also, champagne when we celebrate my winning Master Chef. So let me share with you a little bit about what I like to use in the kitchen. First of all, a staple. Everybody needs a black frying pan. It is your friend. You can use it for everything, and it makes everything taste better. As well as, of course, a stainless steel frying pan, too, which we're going to use in a little bit. My other favorite pieces, I've had this wooden spoon for years. No, I won't hit you with it, but i got to tell you, it's done a lot of cooking. As well as my juicer, my whisk, my spatula, and, of course, my trusty garlic press, which I'm going to share with you in a few minutes what ingredients I love to cook with. Now, I have here some of my favorite cookbooks, pizza, which we're going to be cooking today. What do you expect in the Romano household? Also, the Wine Lover's Cookbook. I love wine as well. Uh, I have this old cookbook from my dear mother-in-law. It's a Betty Crocker cookbook, the staple, the lifeblood of cooking. So let me tell you, a lot of great handy tips, even though it's over 60 years old. So now let me just share with you a few of the things that I'd like to use when I'm cooking. Who doesn't love garlic? I love garlic. I love using fresh basil as well as thyme and rosemary. I also love using parsley, red pepper, cheeses, and also herbs of Provence when I'm cooking up my wonderful potatoes. And those are just a few items that I really enjoy cooking with. Let me share with you a little bit about me. I am one of four children in the family. I have a twin brother. Yes, every Italian family has twins, and Anthony and Maria. I also have a sister, and I have another brother. In addition, I have one beautiful daughter and two beautiful stepchildren. And as well as a bonus, I have 13 grandchildren. Yes, can you imagine? 13. Lucky 13. I hope it stays that way. It's a lot of cards to write and a lot of gifts to buy for Christmas. But what's wonderful is we have a lot of fabulous meals together. I think my mom and my mother-in-law should be the next master chef aside from her fantastic cooking but because entertaining comes a second nature to her. Some of my fondest memories include her exquisite dinner parties. So one of the things I'd like to show you is my closet. Now we learn of how to choose our battles. One of the battles is I'm going to be battling for master chef but in the morning I get to choose my heels. So come on in. It's my pride and joy. And I just, I love my little jewel box that I've made. And my clothes represent me, just like my food does. Well, you can't say love enough, and I'm in what you call the love business. I'm a licensed minister here in Las Vegas, known as Reverend Maria. 
And what I do is I perform wedding ceremonies all throughout Las Vegas, as well as I even do them on a helicopter. But in addition, I also help plan weddings. And if you have a baby, you want a baby christened, your house blessed, or maybe you want to pop the question to the love of your life, I'm there to help you. That's what Love Knots is all about. My name is Warren. I've been a friend of Maria's for 10 years. Maria should be the next master chef because she puts her heart and soul into everything she cooks, and she has an acute sense of detail, which results in a culinary experience you'll never forget. So now I want to share with you Maria's Romano's pizza. So the most consuming part of making pizza is making dough. So what I put together was three and a half cups of flour, a little bit of sugar, a package of dry active yeast, as well as a pinch of salt, and a little bit of olive oil that went into the mixer. From there I added the warm water to activate the yeast. Remember it's got to be warm, not hot and not cold. Let it spin around for a while and voila. We now have dough, and let me tell you, I just love the feel of dough. It is fabulous. And when you have great dough, you're going to have a great pizza. So today, we're going to do something special since you're here visiting the Romano Casa. We're going to do shrimp scampi pizza today. So what I've done is I've sauteed, I've married together, I should say, some garlic, and we have some shrimp. And then, of course, we're going to add a little bit of wine. But let's make sure the wine is good because I never use anything that I wouldn't drink myself. Delicious. Make sure when you're putting any alcohol in a pan, you remove it from the pan. From the flame, I should say. Oh, and you, could just, you can just smell this aroma. It smells fabulous. I've also added a little bit of parsley as well as we like to kick it up a notch. A little bit of red pepper because I love things that are hot. It just smells wonderful. So let's put this on low. While we're doing that, we have our doughs ready to make. So let's just take a few moments and let's work on playing with the dough. Hi, I'm Judy Ann. I've known Maria Romano for about 1,263 days. I know the first day I met her, I was sitting here and she fed me. So that is how the love relationship start. I mean, my love with food and Maria, it just goes together. She's a master chef without a TV show. So I think she needs to be on TV now with all her energy, all this food that she makes us and all the love that she has to give you guys. You need her. Cheers to the next master chef. So I like to make everything personal size. So what we have here today is the dough is now been rolled out, or doughed out as I say. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil, just to give it a little flavor, a little taste. I'm going to take some fresh arugula, and I love arugula. One of my favorite, favorite greens to use. I'm going to just spread this out nicely over the pizza. Make sure you spread it evenly. And then we're going to take the shrimp. Oh gosh, does this smell delicious. I want to make sure everybody gets a piece of shrimp or several. And we have some beautiful drippings from the pan, which is always great. It adds even more to this. And now we're going to take, ah, feta cheese. This is a little different twist that I've added to my little signature pizza. Let's taste it. It's wonderful. Generous portions. I'm going to take some fresh parsley. Parsley's your friend. A little bit more green. We're going to add a little bit of hot pepper because I love things hot. Who doesn't? <laughs> I have to tell you, I've been so excited with doing MasterChef that my voice has been a little hoarse, but it's been, this has been such a wonderful experience so far. And then we're going to add a little bit of cracked black pepper. So now, we're going to get this ready and we're going to take you outside and we're going to put this in my oven. So this is where everything happens in my house besides the kitchen. I have a second kitchen outside. This is where I have all of my friends, family, even people I pick up off the street. I love feeding people. So now let's put this pizza and let's start cooking. 
So now we're going to cut the pizza, but let me just share with you again what I put on the pizza. We have some great arugula, as well as the shrimp with the garlic and the butter and the olive oil, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, as well as red pepper. And now what we're going to do, and the feta cheese, we don't want to forget that. So let's just slice the pizza. And don't you just love it when you hear that wonderful crunch? That's what's wonderful about shrimp scampi pizza with the arugula. It's not soggy. It just permeates through the pizza, and you can just smell all these flavors. Doesn't it smell fabulous? I can't wait till we eat a piece. So now let's get a plate. Let's take a piece of pizza. And a little bit of arugula. Done side. We want it to look pretty. So clearly, I know my vision because I have Master Chef written on my vision board. So now, Judy Ann, mm -hmm. here's the best that. part of the day is when you can share a great meal with a great friend. And cheers. I'm so excited to be here. So now I pronounce Maria Romano the new Master Chef. <laughs>